this is, uh, you know, one of the early steps in what's going to be a really long project. Paul and I are do doing some serious writing right now, and tonight I wanted to give you a glimpse of what um, at least my process is. This is uh, Push, enabled in live, and Push allows you to do some really cool stuff simply by um, manipulating all those colored buttons. And what they're all referring to, the song I'm writing and I'm working on Ableton Live, it started life on my iPad and I used a application called Korg Gadget. And what Korg Gadget can do is basically kind of be a sort of factory full of all your favorite synthesizers and drum machines. And um, <clears throat> once you're done, uh, with this sequencer, which gives you the ability to record patterns and so forth, then you can export the whole thing into Ableton Live. Ableton Live is a tool that has been used uh, for many, many years, uh, developed in Berlin, I think. And I guess the best way I could describe it kind of launches live audio. Okay. And Redwine's going to be using this tool a whole bunch. Um, Basically, it's going to supplement our live rig. It's more than just a computer program. I mean, it's a living, breathing musical instrument. So I got a couple of wonderful instruments here. I'm focusing tonight on guitars mostly, plus a little bit of keyboards. These are Ibanez Prestige guitars. Uh, the one on the left in black is a seven string. Ibanez Prestige are the uh, top of the line Ibanez instruments. This is uh, made in Japan by their very, very best luthiers. So this RGD model, it's called, um, got that scooped obsidian look to it. Uh, a wonderful, wonderful neck. This is a long scale length, 26 and a half, I think. And what that's allowing is a nice taut bass note and so that it has a great deal of tension and punch and I absolutely love playing this guitar never never thought I'd play a seven string and now I I can't imagine ever not playing it it's it become a real favorite of mine and this is an RG uh, 1570 model uh, I think <laughs> a poison pumpkin and just great it really is a comfortable easy to play Ibanez has been a new thing for me. Never really uh, used them. I used uh, Gibson's Fenders. I'm a Les Paul guy. But um, over the years, I've just been discovering what I've been trying to do is made vastly simpler by these guitars, the flatter fingerboard radius and so on. It's just a wonderful sound, and I'm really excited, really inspired, and I don't think I'll be looking back. Uh, this rig here is, uh, of course, the Line 6 Pod HD 500X and the full range speaker, the Stage Source L2T. Um, vastly improved. They've really done an outstanding job um, bringing new models and their firmware update version 2.6. Uh, man, a much better Marshall JCM model than they've ever, ever produced really excited really enjoying working with these units a lot and you can see here uh, it's quite a mess of stuff the chrome 88 and on top of it uh, you got a couple things that's a steinberg ur242 that uh steinberg the makers of cubase which is our main recording tool able to live is uh kind of a supplement but the main recording tool is cubase Steinberg makes outstanding interfaces, and this one, the UR242, has really been a big help. On top of that, it's an iPad Mini, which of course I mentioned earlier for Core Gadget and some other extra synthesizers. It's becoming um, really easy to integrate it into the setup, and maybe it'll even make its way on stage. I'm not sure. Uh, Mackie monitors, I highly recommend them. These are the uh, MR5 Mark III models, best money I've ever spent in my studio. So um, this has just been a real a pleasure to start this project again, to start working with Paul again. Um, 
And I gotta say, man, we are really excited about the new material and uh, really excited about where this is headed. Um, next time, I, I'm looking forward to having you meet Paul and um, hearing what he's working on. And he's got some great stories to tell about uh, how he came back to music and how he got some of the gear. You, you, you just gotta, you just gotta believe me. This is gonna be great. Um, so meantime, I wanted to tell you thanks for listening. Thanks for being a part of our uh, journey back into music, into rock music. You know, I never thought I'd be playing this stuff again. You know, uh, but God, this is just a wonderful, wonderful project. In fact, uh, stick around. I'm going to give you a foretaste of the new song I just uh, started producing tonight, and uh, give you an idea of where we're headed. I think as a band, it's it's just an incredible journey. And we are really inspired right now. Um, and we're looking forward to meeting our new drummer, um, unless we can find our old one. But uh, that being said, things just never happen the way you think they will, you know? Um, and I, I think I just said, you know, I never thought I'd be playing this music again. But um, it, all, all told, it's been uh, an incredible journey. And... I'm really ex just astonished that it, it's falling into place the way it is. So I'm, I'm expecting big things. I really am. Um, not expecting to be famous and to be a rock star again. I'm just expecting an incredible album that I know we'll be proud of and I know you'll love listening to. Especially if you love hard rock, progressive, metal, gent, whatever you call it. You know, whatever you kids want to call it. It's going to be red wine, and it's going to be huge. <laughs> At least to me it is. Um, so s stick around for the clip, and uh, next time you see us, uh, you're going to get to meet Paul, and I know he's got some great stories, and I can't wait for you to hear them. So thanks, God bless, and uh, red wine. See you later.